Once again, good morning, ladies and gentlemen. Wait, Welcome wait, aboard. Is this, this is yeah. flight 133. Let's <laughs> service to San Francisco. I, can grab I, while she vlogs, talks about all this wonderful healthy food and her trips. Um, me with food allergies, I can't eat anything, so um, I live vicariously through her. Is it warm? <laughs> and it is closed but this one is trying to get on the asphalt when she's not supposed to I'm on the grass <laughs> so Lauren this is the hood of San Francisco <laughs> I've been living in the ghetto my entire life <laughs> this chick is like really hitting on people and first of all you only live once right Second of all, if you got it, you flaunt it. That's why I have Carmen here. I'm, I'm not me. I'm sweating to death, but Carmen. And you know what? Why is it okay for men to be able to make like little kissy faces and shit at us, but we can't do it back? Granted, women are probably much worse. We just say it to each other. She's much worse. I say it out loud. Preach. Do what you gotta do. Francisco. Uh, so I'm actually here with my friend and co-worker Lauren. We're here for the National Conference on Health and Domestic Violence. So I recently got a new job about two months ago and I now work with survivors and victims of domestic violence. Um, so we are going to try and take advantage of our time here in San Francisco, although it's pretty short, it's two and a half days, uh, but we've been exploring almost the entire day today. Conferences doesn't start till tomorrow, Wednesday. Uh, we went to the Golden Gate Bridge and went to um, the wharf and did a little bit more walking. We literally walked so much, like 
19,000 steps so far. Uh, done. But we plan to, you know, relax for a bit and then go out to dinner. Um, but yeah, so I miss San Francisco so much. Before I moved to Boston, I actually considered moving to San Francisco. Um, I know I wanted to do graduate or want to eventually go to graduate school, uh, which I have not done yet or applied <laughs> this time around, but um, still in the works. So I thought about moving here, but I, you know, thought to myself, like, you know, you visit once a year, how different is it going to be? And therefore, I decided to move to Boston, which is one of the best decisions I think I've ever made. I do see myself in Boston for many, many, many years, um, but eventually I do want to actually move back to San Diego. Don't know when that will be, of course, uh, and in that process, I would love to live here if, obviously, I can afford it. Uh, but it's been, you know, a pretty cool day. I'm so excited and like super happy to be able to share the city with Lauren because it's her first time here um, and we have a lot of things we want to do in the next couple of days um, you know trying to maneuver around the conference and stuff because at least it's all of this is paid for minus the alcohol <laughs> so you definitely want to take advantage of it but I can't wait to take you guys along, uh, show you a little bit of a little bit of the conference, uh, and then the crazy things we do because Lauren's fucking cray in the best way possible. And this is this vlog is gonna be a little bit different only because you're seeing more interaction between myself and someone else, so a lot more talking um, and uh, a lot more of my weird and crazy personality which has not been um, showcased in the other videos so I really hope you guys enjoy this um, and hopefully you don't think I'm really fucking crazy but I mean some of you guys know what I am Why we can't take her to fucking anywhere because then she just grabs no, all no, this no. shit. Right <laughs> Corn is a vegetable, all right? <laughs> Corn. I thought it was a grain. Dark fudge, uh, chocolate has good properties for you, okay? And water hydrates you, okay? I don't know what she's talking about. Although, I certainly did grab some gum and some dark chocolate. But this bitch is cray. Dark chocolate cashew. Protein. <laughs> talking about the really sad situation which we will get into later oh wait no yeah go um go. it's a really unfortunate thing um, I'm originally from Boston and so I think that like you think that you've seen it all when you live somewhere mm -hmm. um, Boston has a very large population of people who are homeless who have substance use issues who have mental health issues and you see them scattered throughout the street Mm -hmm. And then you come to a new place where they actually have it worse than you do. And I think it's really an unfortunate circumstances to see so many people living in tents, living, living outside, not having anywhere to go, not having any money. And it, this isn't the only place. We're here in San Francisco, but D.C. also has a huge population. Where are White Houses? Where these things shouldn't be happening. And that's, you know... Unfortunate. And yeah, it's San Francisco for you, but but on a happy note, it's a beautiful day. So where are we? Uh, we're at the Painted Ladies, which we recently found out is actually not so out. Smiley this way, but it is still a beautiful view. You can see behind me. <laughs> <laughs>
So, we are in the Castro district. We are on our way to Hot Cookie. And we will show you how hot that cookie is. Yay, girl. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. She can have the cookie, though. No, but I'll just look at it from above. <laughs> Alright, so we're currently at the conference and Carmen um, is stretching because she feels like she needs to. This is where we are before we bring these back to Carmen. Um, she is showing us how earthy, crunchy, and flexible she is. Crunchy. Earthy, crunchy. She has sneakers on, she got her workout pants on, she's ready to walk after this conference is over. <laughs> I think she's doing like a duck walk right now. That might be what that is. Looks kind of like an octopus. <laughs> and she's making me realize how not flexible I am. Ta-da!